South Carolina is recognized. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. I rise in support of S-3522, the Ukraine Democracy Defense Lend-Lease Act of 2022. Madam Speaker, it's absolutely amazing uh, the unintended consequence of Vladimir, of Vladimir Putin, uh, War Colonel Putin, that he's brought Democrats and Republicans together. He has united uh, the people of the United States and with the leadership of Chairman Greg Meeks, it's, it's such a, and the ranking member, uh, Mike McCall, uh, Americans are united in their support of the people of Ukraine. For 63 days, the courageous people of Ukraine have resisted full-scale invasion by war criminal Putin with his murderous occupying forces in large part due to the courageous leadership of President Vladimir Zelensky. Ukrainians have witnessed their prosperous homeland being attacked and the lives of their loved ones senselessly murdered. The world has been a witness to the countless atrocities inflicted upon the Ukrainian people, and we continue to see the depravity of the Putin forces in real time, targeting civilians and humanitarian infrastructure with mass, mass murder, just as they conducted gruesomely in Aleppo, Syria. Ukraine's request is simple. Provide the weapons needed to defend the Ukrainian homeland and Ukrainian families. The bill does just that by removing bureaucratic red tape to support a loan or a lease of defense articles to Ukraine immediately. I'm grateful to have introduced the House bipartisan version of the Ukraine Democracy Defense Lend Lease Act of 2022 and to work with our colleagues to bring this legislation to the floor today. Time is of the essence. Every day that goes by means more innocent lives lost. Congress has been united in support of Ukraine, and we have given the capacity uh, of the administration to use under presidential drawdown authority specifically for Ukraine. Today, with the passage of the bill, we remain unified in our solidarity with the people of Ukraine. There is successful historical precedent for Lend-Lease. During World War II, Lend-Lease was enacted to provide weapons to Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and 28 other allies to defeat Nazi Germany. Lend-Lease provided, uh, was integral in the outcome of the siege of Leningrad. On May 8, 2005, I led a Codel to St. Petersburg, where we sadly were there to, at the world's largest open cemetery, to provide a wreath to recognize the appreciation of the people of the United States for the people of Russia. This is the final resting place of 420,000 civilians and 50,000 soldiers who died when Hitler's murderous forces invaded. America saved what is now St. Petersburg, which is the birthplace of Putin. It is ironic in history that America now is considering this critical legislation to help Ukrainians avoid further loss of life at the hand of Putin's murderous forces. Ukraine's battle for its sovereignty is in the forefront of the fight between autocracy, rule of gun, versus democracy, rule of law. Their success is the success of democracy. I urge my colleagues to support passage of the bill and reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Now, Madam Speaker, it is my honor to yield one minute to the distinguished majority leader of this, this, of this body, the majority leader.